There's a place called Casa here. You know about Casa, right? Community action to stop abuse. Well, they take battered spouses and stuff. So yeah, it's it's a horrible, ugly thing that we gotta keep an eye out for, man. She just said it's a stolen vehicle. Nobody got hurt, right? Correct, nobody got hurt. That's a good thing. Yeah, and what's your name, sir? Toro, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. ID, please. His, his name is Deputy Toro. And, my and ID you got number a bunch of 59807. 59807. I've been doing this for a couple years and pointing out bad cops and stuff, but in the last few months I've changed my focus. I want to find good cops. How long have you been doing this? I'm just going on three years now. Three years? Cool. Yeah. You've seen anybody uh, breaking the law in uniform? In uniform, yeah. Unfortunately, we've had to take some action on them. Good. Um, it's all public record. I mean, you can look up the AID file. Unfortunately, a couple guys have had to go to jail for DUI in the past couple of years. It's, yeah. It's not easy, but it has to be done. You know, I took I took a gentleman from Pasco. Yeah. He was in uniform, and he was off duty to jail for driving under the influence a couple well, months back. Good for you, man. To take someone you know who's who, who'd fight for you and is on your side to jail, but you know we have a job to do, so yeah, we're not immune. You know I mean? However, um, I've always thought that police officers think that they're above the law. It's an, it was a news release and everything. You can go look it up. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, it's never easy to do, but it has, it has to be done by someone. You know I mean? And they were police. Yeah. Or deputies, you know, same same difference. The you most guys. recent guy out in Polk County, the paramedic, yeah. who was smuggling COVID vaccines. Captain Anthony Damiano is now the second Polk Fire Rescue worker to resign and get arrested this week, wrapped up in a criminal coronavirus vaccine scandal. Yeah, and, you know, it just spreads because kind of like the Catholic Church, you know, somebody does something bad, they transfer to another department. And yeah, hopefully I see you around some more. I'll, I'll be here for upwards of six months and maybe I move, maybe I don't. I'll see how I feel, you know. So uh, I, I might, I, I think I'm gonna stay for about a year or so and then I might try something different because I like to jump around. I've been up north, I've been down south, I've been on the beach, now I'm here. So yeah. I'd like to give it some variety. Last year, Deputy Toro was the subject of an investigation after he hit a bicyclist while responding non-emergency to help another law enforcement officer. The investigation revealed he didn't have his emergency lights nor his siren on at the time. How fast are you going? I have no idea. Deputy Toro could have been fired for that incident. Instead, he was suspended for 112 hours. <laughs> <laughs> you married, bro? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. But court records and neighbors confirm this is where Deputy Jared Toro lives with his girlfriend. This is video of Deputy Toro being booked into the county jail. His girlfriend were arguing when he pushed her, cuffed her, and made her sit for several minutes before releasing her. Doesn't really surprise me. It's unfortunate. And um, I just hope that he gets the punishment that every other citizen. There's a place called Casa here. You know about Casa, right? Community uh, action to stop her. abuse. I haven't really been there yet. Well, they take battered spouses and stuff. Okay. So yeah, it's it's a horrible, ugly thing that we got to keep an eye out for, man. Anyways, nice meeting you, sir. You too, brother. Take care. I'll see you again. Yeah, I hope so too, man. Thanks. On good circumstances. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie.